Gates to the Morning, a New Jersey post black metal band driven by the singular vision of Sean Myers. Having started as a bedroom black metal project while still attending Montclair State University for jazz performance, Myers started to collect material in 2016 for what would be the band's debut, Return to Earth. Pulling from a myriad set of influences, ranging from a path to up Blakely by way of Tool, Gates to the Morning, have rapidly refined a sound that is wholly their own and speaks to a dark unreality. Full of bombastic imagery and transcendent choruses, Gates to the Morning has finally taken form. With his jazz background balance with a long history in the infamous New Jersey DIY scene, Myers hoped to create something powerful and thoughtful with Return to Earth. Fully invested in his work, he found himself recording drums at Backroom Studios with Kevin Antrothison of the Dillinger Escape Plan, then collaborating with friends to finish the studio processes both at the Backroom Studios and at various home setups. It was during this process that he chose to embrace the ethereal vocals of Meg Moyer for the project in addition to his own, further growing the band's sonic palette. The end result and consequent live band features performance from a variety of players, ranging from childhood friends to fellow jazz musicians. Return to Earth as a concept album, with lyrics orbiting around the twin concepts of challenge and triumphs. The pitfalls and mountaintops found on the journey of awakening enlightenment. After years of deliberation and struggle, their unique sound has finally come together to see the light of day on July 19th, 2019. Gates to the Morning's Return to Earth is not a conventional post-black metal release, in that it might surprise some to see it comes in at 14 tracks long. You see, rather than having a handful of huge and earth-spanning listens, Gates of the Morning have instead taken the path of shorter, more digestible tracks to offer bite-sized experiences. The end result was an album that takes the listener on a myriad of ups and downs emotionally, one with a wide range of musical highs and lows encapsulated by a band that clearly understand what it means to feel. They can go from a track like My Style, with its really somber melodies and reflective tempo, to the more hopeful and feel-good sound of Freezing the Sundials, to the beautiful aggression showcased by Crestfalling, all with relative ease. Those aren't the only highlights, though. Crossing the Abyss is wonderfully imaginative, with a really traditional-sounding finish. Chapel Perilous is hauntingly soft and emotive, while Steadfast is a blazing showcase of the guitar. There aren't enough words in the world to do this album justice. It just keeps giving and giving and it ever has to end is actually a shame. Happily, it just means it's time to start it again. It might have taken Gates to the Morning a while and a hell of a lot of work, but the end result is so very worth it. It's out on July 12th, 2019. Don't miss this one, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let us know what you think in the comments.